All right, so we got 30 secrets you've missed in Fortnite trailers. Great to video. Fortnite has hidden hundreds of secrets across trailers. Some I didn't know that. Collabs, others roasting creators, but one of my favorites has to be the surprise crossover with Resident Evil. When Doggo is back, well, I kind of didn't know that. All distracted by the zombie outside, but look closely and you'll see the typewriter from the Resident Evil games. Use these to save your progress, and that's exactly what it says right on the paper. And in this season, cinematic. Okay, I think Fortnite celebrities. Uh, I said Fortnite celebrities. This is of course a Fortnite trailers are very um. Where they also sub Liminal. in the jungle one of the coolest secrets was in the reveal for morty if you're wondering why x is in here this is a one-to-one -one recreation of a loading screen from season x well, okay i don't remember that i'll be real it's just morty not only was this a nod to chapter one fortnite was also teasing the return of brutes who came back the next season oh my not god you know those things were so cheese bro in the trailer for last season you could watch people dive off a skyscraper and swing around Jeez, little Tony Hawk action, okay. More suspicious when it had similar music to the Leap of Faith scene from Into the Spider Verse, and of course those suspicions were confirmed as Miles Morales released with the trailer perfecting the scene. Jeez, okay. Yeah, I get, bro. Listen, no one does it like Fortnite, bro. They cut to Superman, who's surprised by the news. But if you look, look at Clark, the computer, he's oh, Batman. Fortnite as Batman. A movie reference no one talks about involved Wendell and Walnut. These guys went under the radar and even had their own short film to go with the set. If you watched it, you still wouldn't realize there's a hidden tribute to Over the Hedge. The heist is extremely similar to the barbecue scene and even oh, the Oh, okay, that's actually pretty, pretty, pretty clever. Spy season battle pass trailer. As they break down each character, they get to Meowsles, and for a split second, you can see his age on the screen. Yeah, he is six years old in and cat years. So that's what does that actually mean? Well, if you convert that to humans, he was 40 years old at the time, maybe 40. Oh, now, I'd say he looks pretty good for his. No, age. he does look really good. That's a John Cena build. This was the time we got Destiny skins in Fortnite. People love this, especially when the trailer dropped. Paying Man, I need to play Destiny, bro. Secret. They all stand outside a cave and blast the enemies, causing piles upon piles. Oh my of god. This was actually possible in Destiny 1, where you could find a specific loot cave that everyone went to. And after clearing it, there were a ton of anagrams to collect. It was ridiculous. Wow. The secret that's less subtle was the reveal. Yes, of sir. As a tier 100 outfit, he was obviously going to make a big appearance in the trailer. And that included an amazing reference. As he's chasing I just watched this trailer. Oh, my Jordan God. I remember this trailer. Makes Bro, sense. I remember this trailer. Exactly what he did in A New Hope during the trench run. Speaking of films, Four Nightmares 2020 brought Midas back from the grave, but they also revealed that it was a fictional movie on the island. It didn't actually come back, and the funniest part is the movie was rated F for Four Nightmares, so <sighs> I'm sorry you can't watch it. We'll have to watch Ninja instead. <laughs> that was such a Fortnite just term. Moment still haunts him to this day. When Fortnite revealed the Halo creative map, Grip offered him a dance battle. Hey, wait, does that mean we can have dance battles? Oh no. Come on, Ninja. What do you say? Eh. Save it for New Year's. Save it for New Year's. <laughs> New Year's. <laughs> I'm not seeing enough movement. <laughs> Chief was announced at the Game Awards. He randomly came out of a fridge. Master Chief, what a go. Jeez. Yeah, he was ripped it here in the story, but a refrigerator is a weird place to choose, right? Well, I mean, it's because Master Chief spent years in a cryo chamber, and this was Fortnite's way of reactivating him. But for a split second, the sorry for playing, guys. Deku! Montage of characters, and you'll see Deku bowing to All Might. It's an homage to the first episode where All Might says, You too can become a hero. Fortnite loves these tiny That's the only character that I know is Deku and, and Goku and Vegeta like and, and Beerus and Gohan. <laughs> Seems familiar, right? Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Back to a more nostalgic trailer, Season X has one of the best. In just a few seconds, you can find nods to every moment in Chapter 1. If you blink, you miss a boombox, spray can, and Durberger rift. These were all okay. there got taken from the California desert in Season 5. Wow, that's actually that's pretty sick. Cinematic. There's so much detail in here, but no one really pays attention to the beginning. As Jones falls from the battle, bro, I literally, I nearly take 99 damage. This means for the rest of the battle, he is fighting dozens of enemies and even the foundation <laughs> with just one HP. Oh my Wild god! Is the time we saw the zero point reveal, an entirely new reality. I nearly almost second, forgot, like everything from like season one and stuff like that from Fortnite. They were literally 
actually doing praise the sun from dark souls and the weirdest part is that this remains totally unexplained do you guys remember day. like the black the portal in fortnite in oh my Crazy god season. yeah it had a lot of problems but the trailer was incredible but we're all focused on the seven getting chrome to death you can look in the background for a handful of frames it reveals three back to tanks one of them has a banana inside the other has a llama and in okay i'm in real I, I never even noticed that barely anyone talks about this instead the mandalorian has been getting more attention and that's why fortnite gave him his own ltm thanks to mando's bounty we have a hilarious trailer which shows him hunting down Peely. <laughs> oh yeah it's over for you buddy Ooh. Not only was this how mando freezes people in carbonite you could even go in game and find frozen Peely in his apartment Another stuck incredible detail came to the island with wolverine as he gets approached by fortnite characters this happens uh-oh He's actually surprised by his claws because of the island removing his memory. Casual Fortnite fans would have noticed this, but they kept the continuity. I'm definitely anyway. a casual. I can't believe I never noticed this secret after three years. But in Deadpool's reveal trailer, he's reading Fortnite magazine on the toilet. So yeah, they have their own version of Vogue, but it gets better. The cover <laughs> star is Agent Peely, who won Banana of the Year. It's a shame Banana of the award, Year. But he's too busy fighting in the jungle. Just ask Triggerfish. His reveal trailer was pretty intense, and that's because it was based on a scene from Apocalypse Now. I've never watched the you know, movie Apocalypse Now. I'll keep revealing the black hole months in advance. Season 9's trailer was amazing. I mean, everyone remembers Jonesy and Peely having a great time in the bunker. That's all that happened. We don't talk about the incident, but we will talk about the arcade machine they were playing. This Dirt Burger game Victory. is a that appeared during the black hole months before we even knew about it. And by now, most what? people know the free Fortnite trailer is a parody of Apple's 1984 commercial. But Apple <laughs> went further with some of the details. On the wall, you can see the App Store's terms of service projected, which talks about the 30% cut they take every purchase. One of the oh, most wow. Awesome things Fortnite does is giving backstories to the most unexpected outfits. Like when they dropped the Slurp Legends pack. These were clearly just reskins made of Slurp. Oh, the Kool Aid Legends? Well, they released a trailer anyway. As I get created in the Slurp factory, you can spot. I can't lie, bro. That, that slurp looks so like good. <laughs> like it looks tasty. Pause. Pause. Iconic scenes in movie history, and we've seen it reference in games like Doom and Among Us. But now it's Fortnite's turn, and they did it with a twist. Instead of just copying it, they decided to give the movie an alternate ending, where Agent Jones saves the Terminator just in time. A secret that oh, that's nice. Was in the Chapter Two reveal trailer. We all thought Fortnite teased the island flip in Season Five, but they did it way earlier than that. As the black hole transitions to the puddle you can see the camera rotate 180 degrees through space revealing that we flipped upside down the whole time one of the strangest secrets is in the junk riff trailer from season x you probably didn't notice it but while they were filming someone in the lobby got struck by a van hammer turns out not everyone got eliminated from the item so they had to stage the scene making it look like a double kill wait one trailer epic made that would be absolutely amazing bro season eight players piece together teaser images to reveal a hidden qr code scanning it would take you straight to a special video revealing the new season hours before it even began okay that's nice just to the zero crisis cinematic there's so much going on here it's hard to keep track of things but if you do look at the tow truck that drives off a bridge on the driver's side there's a decal that says nc27518 which means this truck was taken directly from epic games office in north carolina Those they're in north carolina Fortnite trailers it's been okay to keep it here on top here's what i want to say about epic games first of all epic games has, has been doing a really good job for the past five years of just like keeping their audience like uh, like on their toes or they just like keep surprising their audience because at the end of the day i don't really see a lot of mm, i mean i guess you can say like call of duty but like I, I really don't see a lot of, you know, comedies out there keeping their audience like on a limbo or keeping the audience just on the toes of just like, like what to expect next. Because, bro, Epic Games, they have killed it time and time again with, with all the live events, with, uh, with the new trailers of like the new seasons, um, you know, bringing different characters in. And, it, and it, honestly, it seems like, you know, they listen to the audience because, um, you know, when, when their audience wanted a certain character in, uh, you know, they bring the character uh or they sorry i say bring they brought the character <laughs> they brought the character to the game so it, it's just i have a lot of respect for epic games for you know for actually just making the game exciting um and, and you know not you know it's, it's not like one thing that i always respect for epic games was they always bring something new like every single week something like that is very 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 hard to do because when you have a game that i won't say that has everything but like you can literally put anything in the game I guess you have more options and, and, and like more opportunities to like add more stuff every single week. But at the end of the day, bro, for you to do that every single week, 
that gets hard, bro. And I'm and I imagine like how hard the team must be working to like add new things every single way to the game, such as weapons, characters, uh, thinking of live events. We're not even gonna talk about the live events because listen, Fortnite live events are absolutely top tier. I've not seen a video game. Let me not say that. But I haven't seen a lot of video games, you know, be able to throw like a big event and have everybody hyped. Like I've like listen, the Travis Scott event, the Ariana Grande event, the Marshmallow event, all these events. Literally, like hours before, you and your friends would try to like queue up to like get a spot. You, know? <laughs> you and your friends would try to queue up to get a spot so you guys can like you know listen to like you know, uh, or not listen but like be in the event and stuff like that. Um, uh, like for instance, like the Travis Scott event that was absolutely humongous. I think I was, um, man, who was I with? I was with like two or three of my friends, and we literally logged in and bro, we were going crazy. It, it honestly, that was one of the best things that I've seen in gaming. Was like the whole uh, Travis Scott event in Fortnite. So the fact that Fortnite keeps innovating, honestly, it, it brings more competition to other battle royale games because, um, you know, like a lot of battle royale games over the past few years, they have been, you know, um, what's the word? Not slacking, but they have been just very uh, stale. You know, Fortnite has definitely carried the torch of just like bringing new things, innovating. Um, it's kind of forcing other battle rails to, you know, to do better. Um, and, and some battle rails, they don't really need to be, you know, uh, they don't really need to like innovate, you know, those battle rails are just those battle rails, you know? And I think right now we're moving out of the age of battle royale because I'll probably say from 2017 to 2020, yeah, to 2020, that's when that was like this, like the sacred age of battle royale, uh, Call of Duty Warzone dropped 2020, Fortnite dropped 2017, and so, like, that period was just, it, it, it was just hectic, bro. Everybody was on Fortnite. Everybody in school was like, hey, bro, add me so we can play Fortnite together, blah, blah, blah. You know, so it just, I respect Fortnite a lot um, on and off the controller. Yeah, so um, other than that, comment down below, man. What do you guys think about this video? I didn't even know. Like, in, in some in some trailers, you can see, like, some type of things. But in order for you to, like, really see these things, you kind of have to, like, replay the trailer and, like, actually look. But I think a lot of casual, you know, players don't really do that. I'll probably say if you're a YouTuber, then you're probably going, you know, you're probably like going to like see, uh, you know, if they're bringing in some stuff, you know, some, I don't know. I, I just think that a lot of Fortnite's um, trailers are very subliminal sometimes. And um, I like that. I, I think it's cool. Comment down below what you guys think about the video. I'll see you guys later for the next one. I'm out and peace.